Kenny Fields, Ed McKenna, Don Cho, Debbie Davis, and Alfred Dawson. So, uh, so you send her regrets and uh, wish you all the very best. Uh, because Audrey is known to, uh, for her poem, so I was asked to, to make one up. <laughs> I think you all know I've been called many things, but a poet is not one of them. <laughs> so, but I remember an old uh, native, uh, native Indian poem I read a long time ago. So I revised it, changed it, adjusted it, and turned the all very familiar. So, don't laugh. <laughs> when you install the fixture of the house, tell me if you have understanding. Who determined the fed grade water charges? or a pipe stretch upon it, when water inspectors are stick together and building staff sang for joy. Who we'll count the courses, the sinks, and the rooms, when complaints are coming. When freedom make up charge cast to bill you, the dollars are coming. When water inspectors are stick together and building staff sang for joy. But tonight you remind me of whenever I drop in uh, yeah. uh, 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 whenever I drop in uh, the uh, Fifth East, uh, all the smiling faces, uh, very happy, get together, all it seems to be, and uh, I, I was always impressed with that. And, uh, I guess, you know, things didn't you know, has to change. <laughs> so, uh, and again, I wish you very, very, very best for your retirement. Uh, I'm sure you, on behalf of all your friends, I'm sure they miss you. All the coffee breaks you have taken together, all the lunches, all the jokes and the gossip you all share. <laughs> so, uh, apparently here is a scroll and uh, on behalf of the finance department, once again. Yeah, right. your name wrong. Speak up, Okay, no more phones. So you're speaking to me. It's Elisa. Okay, well, welcome everybody. So uh, we're here to uh, give our best regards to Priya. And um, first of all, if uh, you don't know me, I'm Laura Pizzetta. I'm uh, Frida's uh, film manager. And uh, I've known Frida through um, when I was in the accounting section. And uh, we had her in my section for about four or five months prior to my leave. So uh, from the time that uh, she's been working for me, I have good thoughts about Frida and uh, anything that we needed from Frida regarding work wise and uh, any extra. Uh, information and she's always been a very diligent uh, type of person that you know if you needed information you could definitely go to her and uh, make sure that it was right. Uh, a very good and, uh, She started with the city, just to give you an the background, uh, in uh, 1977. So she's got over 17 years of service. And uh, from what I understand, she's worked in the water revenue section the entire time with the villain section. Uh, the villain section's gone through a number of changes, uh, but most recently, uh, probably the most critical changes that we with the tax section. And, uh, in her uh, working in the building section, we've seen a lot of different uh, coordinators, administrators, and building managers come and go. Uh, some of the coordinators she's worked with are uh, Joan Patterson, Sharon Hurst, uh, Dave Hamilton, 
and uh, most recently with uh, Beverly Fenwick. And uh, some of the administrators uh, were John Menzies, who's here tonight, and uh, Sam Spruda, Jim Fernandes, uh, Carrie Ang, Kathy Cottage, and John Wong. And some of the managers she was working with uh, as the building managers were uh, Doug Steen, who's retired, and uh, Beverly Fenwick, and Vivian, uh, for a while, so we did great. And uh, myself at the end. So uh, she's a uh, and this type of person from talking to everybody that's uh, definitely uh, dedicated herself and uh, she made the very hard working behind. Uh, she made the first suggestions of my ways and uh, in assisting us in streamlining our operations. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's always been uh, very helpful and uh, <coughs> she's also assisted in documenting a number of the procedures that we've just gone through now for uh, the flat rate of our water system. So uh, from everybody, Frida, thank you very much for all your loyalty and your dedication to your job. And um, uh, I understand that uh, as uh, extracurricular, you do a lot of volunteer work, and you were just mentioning some more things that you're going to keep busy with. So uh, she does a lot of volunteer with the uh, Heart and Stroke Foundation, the Cancer Society, and the churches. So that's really good. You're going to keep yourself busy when you're home. <laughs> so um, from all of us, Frida, we'd like to extend our well wishes for a happy, healthy retirement. All the best. And come see us. We'll miss you. Everybody, Frida, this is a little token of our appreciation for everything you've done. Want me to open it now? Yes. Let me move over here then. Here we go. I did it well. Can't see. Dave Hamilton, um, Phil Miguel, 
Blackman, Shepard, Freddie Archer. There's, there's a whole bunch. <laughs> but you know, like a, a, a privilege that each have is that um, when they're addressed, it's not as Mr. McKenna or Mr. McDonald. It's um, they're, they're known as, of course, McKenna. Who? <laughs> right? Uh, or, or McDonald. Who? And now we have to call Frida. Right, so I'll get used to that, Frida. Anyway, um, it's, it's nice to see such a large uh, turnout here tonight. Are you listening? Uh, Frida certainly uh, deserves this kind of uh, recognition uh, after all the years of her dedicated service. And I say dedicated because that's how uh, I will always remember Frida. You know? There, there are many areas where, uh, especially on billing, uh, we work hand in hand, and uh, of course, Frida and I have often discussed and communicated with uh, resolving problem accounts, uh, such as uh, you know, flat rate accounts, hydrants, um, <laughs> seasonal charges, etc., parts. But uh, I must say that in What's each that? one of these areas, yeah, uh, Frida excelled. And uh, you know, we talk about parks. There's been a, a review, an ongoing review, for the past two years, and, and it's still ongoing. And uh, where uh, they they overpaid under water, and um, uh, Frida was instrumental in, in her organization of uh, beach parks accounts. Uh, like one one park that had three or four uh, different account numbers, and they were funny numbers, you know. And and, and you can't get them on the screen that easy. So you want park information. And um, I think maybe uh, you will agree that uh, she was uh, quite a valuable asset that she was uh, compiling those stats. So I won't say much more because I know it's a little bit of your material. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, uh, Frida, I want you to know that this is not the only party going on in town. Uh, flat rate uh, consumers all over the city are just happy <laughs> The other day, uh, I was out on a, a rare field trip that I take. Uh, not like the Little Zays, uh, and, <laughs> and uh, I, um, I overheard uh, uh, some uh, customers talking to one another. You know, they, as they often do, they compare their flat rate accounts, right? So how many toilets you got? How many sinks you got? You know, how come you paid more than me? Right? <laughs> so, but, but this one uh, customer was asking the neighbor, like, uh, are you on a flat rate? She responds, uh, no, I have a water meter. And she, you know, she says, too bad, man, because Frida's, Frida's gone. Frida's <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what, why are they so happy. You know what? Well, it seems that uh, flat rate consumers' uh, pockets have been picked clean. <laughs> she was so diligent uh, in, uh, in verifying water accounts. And she made sure that we got every penny that was coming to us. Uh, quite often, when um, when uh, when we do our inspection reports, and we inspect the city, uh, there's extra pictures of that. And Bill Bill Mark down there uh, built back to August 15th. Right? So it goes to Fia's hands. Of course, she checks this, the uh, the building screen, and she sees that the. Uh, the building inspector signed off the project uh, maybe August the 1st, right? So next thing I know, uh, I get this little slip. John, you know, shouldn't we back build this to August the 1st? And we're losing revenue here, you know? <laughs> and, uh, and I've had many of those. So uh, I must say that uh, you've really kept us on our toes uh, over the years. Anyway, that's uh, the good news. Not the bad news. John Woods always told me you have to report both sides. <laughs> uh, there was one time when, when there was a lot of communication uh, between us that that interaction just wasn't there. And uh, that was a time, if you recall, when uh, we uh, received a complaint with, uh, regarding the uh, five uh, water account. Uh, it was from a nightclub someplace on uh, Young and uh, uh, Bloor, Young and Charles or something like that. And um, the inspectors were dispatched there many times and, and we couldn't get in. I was locked and uh, that's very really unusual for us actually, right? We, we normally get our, our minds. But uh, Frida was so dedicated that uh, to her work that she, she went ahead and formed a committee. And uh, 
And on her own time, after working hours, she took this committee up there to uh, investigate this nightclub's uh, uh, waterworks operation. Yeah. And I don't know how it all ended. I don't know. But, um, but everybody in the committee the next day were smiling. And they seemed, they seemed quite satisfied that, uh, that uh, you know, with the results of their investigation. But they were tight lipped, so I, I don't know. You know I, I went to that one. Anyway, we, we always had a, a good working relationship, uh, and, uh, and that's for sure, you know. Now, um, I, I don't have anything, well, I, I asked uh, Sharon, what would I present? And she said nothing. So I said, I have to think fast, you know. So uh, I got a little something for you. No, you stay there. <laughs> um, Frida always uh, tinkered with the idea of becoming an inspector. <laughs> and uh, as such, in your honor, we're going to retire uh, this badge. <laughs> it's an old badge, it, it, probably back in the 30s or 40s. It's got number 33 on it. I think that signifies something. Uh, the only problem is says serviceman. <laughs> like in those days, they didn't have the foresight to see it. They shouldn't serve as person. <laughs> And, and uh, I didn't have any uh, cotton to put in there, so I just used an old fat ray card. And it says to honor Frida Goodwin and the date, today's date, yes. at least I think it's today's date. <laughs> <laughs> Happy retirement on the inspection staff. Okay? So, um, uh, like if there's any brass work in here, don't worry, she won't take this one. Uh, for security reasons, it'll, it'll remain in our locked uh, office. But maybe somebody can take a picture of her. And uh, I know when you get bored, I, mean, I know you're pretty busy with all the, these extra activities, but sometimes you might be bored. Do come down and pick up your new ID as a member of this club. Pick this up, and, and you may want to investigate other clubs. Or <laughs> Whatever you do, don't put it in anybody's cereal box. <laughs> Anyway, Frida, uh, on behalf of uh, the inspection sections, uh, I want to thank you for uh, your cooperation and assistance over many, many years. And, uh, and just thank you for being the person that you, that you are. Uh, we will miss you, and uh, we do wish you the very best in your return. Can you do this thing? <laughs> Can you do this? Yeah, okay. Did you Where is it? That must be when you were there. Because we don't hear you. Yeah, that's what I was doing. And I have to throw that in. <laughs> oh, my God. Thanks, Rita. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Johnny. I'd like to ask the elastic compensation for you, please. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You know what? Okay. Okay. Let's do the steady. I think this is light. Lights flash. John's speech. That was great, John. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Vivian Lustig. Um, I was the manager for Ford Freeda um, from 1991 to 1994. And I was asked just to come up and say a few words since Doug Speedy couldn't make it. Uh, on behalf of the former Water Revenue Billing Section. Uh, there isn't much more I could say that hasn't been covered by John and Lori. So I don't know what else to say other than no more DBs, no more props, no more water off, no more water on, um, no more seasonals and plumbing permits. So um, I, all I can say is thank you for all your hard work. You've always been very dedicated and gracious and helpful and knowledgeable always willing to help everyone out and always on top of all the work and I know the uh, water building staff will miss you very much and we wish you all the best.
I spoke with Doug Speedy. Uh, he had just returned from a trip from the West Coast, and they're off again, and they're down east. Uh, Fred Archer, he's vacationing down south. Uh, I had a rather long and humorous chat with uh, Kay Baxter. Kay sends her best wishes, and uh, she said she's sorry she can't be here tonight, but she uh, fell off her rowing machine and hurt her leg. Kay and Helen Hamilton are in Florida. They're attending their nephew's wedding. Dave sends his best wishes, and he hand delivered this message. It says, Dear Frida, you have just opened the door to a whole new world of happiness and enjoyment. I've had many happy memories of working with you over the years. I'm very sorry I could not be here with you today to share your happiness, but I am with you in thought. Good luck, Dave. Uh, Peter and I used to travel home every night on the summer. We always had lots to chat about. At least we did after we brought Marianne off. <laughs> family, friends, and over the years we shared some good times and bad. Uh, Frida's last days were rather emotional. I know she was having a difficult time because she'd be deep in thought and then out of the blue she'd be comment it's like, you know, I don't feel old. <laughs> or, you know, it's not the job I'm going to miss, it's the people. When collecting for the retirement dinner, some of your co-workers expressed their thoughts about you and your retirement. Everyone said that they were really going to miss you and that you're a pretty nice person. The people you say you're together and invite you all gift um, as a remembrance of our constant friends. Oh. Um, um, one last small presentation that if you've noticed there's a bouquet of flowers on the table. Yes. Uh, that's from the uh, the old and late Embrace yeah, yeah. Water Revenue yeah. Gift Fund. We thought it was uh, appropriate that you get the last gift. <laughs> During how long you've been organizing it, helping Joe Patterson and myself through the years. So, you know, I've watched this bouquet to help us. There's also a uh, retirement gift from the union, so the United States section in the mail. Don't tell you it all so I can see the picture. And I guess that's all. Anybody else would just uh, like to say a few words? Anybody guess? Mm -hmm. Hope you'll enjoy the rest of the evening. Is your time to speak. And thanks again for coming out for Freedom's Return. We all wish you well. Good luck. Back. Well, friends and family, I'm here. <laughs> Can't quite believe I'm standing here for my retirement party. Where did 18 years go? Thank you, John Long, Lori, Vivian, John Sisterna. <laughs> also want to thank, uh, thank you all for the honor you have shown me by your presence here and also for those who are unable to attend. The gift you have given me is beautiful and I love it. And every time I wear it, I'll remember all of you. Thank you. Special thank you to Beth, Sharon, and Marianne who arranged such a special evening for me. I know how much time and effort it takes. I understand that you, Sharon, and did most of the work. I was working in the cashier's branch when I came to the corporation, and the water department needed someone for a permanent position. And Merle sent me to see Don Menzies. We discussed the job of service dispatcher, and when I asked for a little time to think about it, Don asked me if I had heard rumors that the water department was not a good place to work. <laughs> he told me that there had been some problems in the past, but that was over. 
told me if I took the job, I would find myself working with some nice people. Well, Don, you were right. I've worked with super people. We were more than co-workers. I consider them my friends. We worked hard, but still had time to care about each other and interested in each other's lives. I have many memories over the last 18 years, so I hope you won't mind if I mention a couple. I remember Wally Kerr, who was a teacher in the flat rate billing section. And this particular day, he was teaching at the billing job. And Ed wasn't looking very interested. Wally finally lost his cool and asked Evelyn, are you listening to me? <laughs> and when she answered yes, he asked her to repeat what he had said. And Ed repeated everything word for word. Needless to say, he was surprised. Wally was a good teacher and a friend to everyone. Roy Welch was a great guy. He seemed to know when you were blue or had something bothering you. Out he would come from the inspections, and he'd tell you a little joke or make a comment, and in no time you were feeling better. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Joan Patterson, with one T as she will tell you. I thought I would never want to work for a woman supervisor, but Joan changed my mind. She was tough, but fair, and you knew she was behind you. And she has since turned out to be a close friend. There have been some sad times in my life while working here, and I want to thank my co-workers and friends for their understanding and their kindness during these trying times. It really helped me to get through. I must say I miss coffee breaks <coughs> with Mary Ann, Sherilyn, and Beth, and traveling home on the subway with Doris and Sherilyn, sharing our lives with each other. Thank you to Rosalinda and Kim for your hard work. It's a pleasure to work with you. Whenever I need something done in a hurry from accounts receivable, Arlene, Carm, or Rolando, or Joan are always ready to help. I must mention Ida and Marie, who took over the phones for flat rate when necessary. And of course, the inspection branch. What can I say? They were always cooperative. Thank you all. Well, retirees, I guess I'm now one of you. And it's really nice to see you all. And thank you, Ed, for coming from uh, St. Catharines. I was apprehensive about the move to 112, but pleasantly surprised to find it was a time to renew friendships with former co-workers and meeting new ones. <coughs> I have closed one door and eagerly looking forward to opening new faces, traveling, volunteer work, and time to spend with family and friends. I'll treasure the memory of this evening always. Well, enough is enough. I understand there's going to, we're going to party. So let's do it. Thank you all again.
Well, that's what you say, the camera's pointing out. It is. Oh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.